Yes. I don't know why I posed the question in the name of the video, then answer it within the first five seconds of the video. Yes, Baby Monster and the Kiss of Life are absolutely the vocal future of the fifth generation of K-pop. Therefore, they are the young future shining stars of K-pop as well. In the wake of the recent questions and a lot of notions about K-pop idols, if they need to sing at all, if they need to sing well, if they need to be able to sing pre-debut or are we gonna expect them to get better after the debut? There's a lot of questions currently circulating, TikTok, Twitter, just all around the internet. I want to give flowers to two groups that have been really vocally consistent. They've been trying their best to really put vocals and some interesting singing into every single song that they put out. They've also been doing their best to present themselves with the live performances and just put out into the world and scream, we are working on our vocals, we are singers. And two of those groups had recently had a comeback, which is Kiss of Life and Baby Monster. And I want to talk about them very shortly today and just give them their flowers, man. Because I feel like vocally strong groups are very often so underappreciated. Like, don't get me wrong, I like my dance groups and visual groups and, you know, performance-based groups, but I feel like very often, especially vocal groups, are so underappreciated and I am here to change that and to make you really hyper-focus, laser-focus on these ladies because they are gonna eat the industry alive. Today we're gonna talk about girls. Of course, I know that there are also new boy groups with the fifth gen that are doing their thing vocally. I see them and I'm getting ready to talk about them as well. So if you have more suggestions, let me know down in the comments and let's get into it. So we've got Sheesh and listen, a lot of people are hating on Sheesh. I said it before, I don't know. I. I can't. I love that song. When I saw it for the first time, I was immediately hooked and I've been hooked, okay? It's hard to get out of your head. But girl, Ahion and Parita and Rami. Three names. I know that Baby Monster currently are being talked most about, about their rap line. It's like the big three of the rap line. They're doing very well. But girl, I want to talk about the big three of the singing line or the vocal line. Ahion, Parita, Rami killed sheesh they did it so freaking well and especially i love how the entire song is playing to their strengths we finally see a nice substantial chest voice in the k-pop as well i have been, it's been so long very often uh the quick training of idols kind of results in a very shallow and underdeveloped singing areas and uh, the registers very often uh, the first training thing that they do is that frontal singing so that's something that they really focus on i had an opportunity to talk to a couple of uh, korean especially k-pop vocal coaches that worked with these people and that is the first thing that the focus shifts on it is mostly because it is such a universal placement. You can sing very high tones with that without flipping into the head voice. You can cover quite a chunk of a range. And also you are able to go very, very fluently into quite of a high tones. So that frontal placement is the first thing that it's taught. The problem is that one thing that I noticed is that a little bit of erasure of the chest voice completely. So very often when you watch uh, K-pop idols sing on a variety of those more acoustic shows, you can notice that the moment they go into lower tone, their voice kind of goes into more whispery, airy space. So from this... Na, 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 na. So basically from a very nice, bright, substantial tone, which is the frontal placement, down into the very drowned and always very airy almost whispery chest voice now baby monster said hell nah we're gonna give you some solid chest singing we're gonna give you some solid belts they're gonna be full they're gonna be fun and we got both of those from parita and rami i want you to focus on parita because of her hard work parita is one of those singers that's been developing and you can see the biggest growth 
in her from the last evaluation the girls been working She has also a very smart approach to most of her registers and I want to see more of her. I want to see more. She is more of a grounded singer. So she overall preferably is staying in her chest. She likes her belt. She has very balanced voice. On the other side, we have Rami, who is much more stylized singer. Looking forward to me right, right Now I take the weight of me And also, Rami gave us this incredible moment on Inky Gayo. Yeah, wow. all we can really say is Shush. the support is supporting. You can see uh, that strong onset into every single tone. Like she is so confident about it. Looks good. And of course, from Baby Monster, we've got to mention Ahion, the it girl. I mentioned a lot about her before. She's a natural talent. And I really do not like to use the word talent loosely, but Aion is undeniable. Uh, that girl has so much power encapsulated in her. She has barely under control. We've talked about that uh, when I was talking about their solo stages. If you haven't seen that video, definitely check it out. Aion is an exploded bomb. She is still about to just show the, her full potential and mark my words. I know why they put her into that bridge. It was brilliant i will be also showing people how to sing that tone on my tiktok pretty soon so check that out as well if you want to learn how to sing the bridge of sheesh but i might give me my biggest dream which we would get an it girl you know every gen kind of had their dub it girls right and fifth gen could give us an it girl that is vocally oriented like I'm so excited. And again, this is not a bashful video to any of the eight girls before or any other idols. Again, everybody has their qualities. Everybody have their specialty. For Ion, I'm just excited to see the it girl being the it singer of the generation as well. Oh my God, it would be brilliant. I oh. That being said, watch them. Watch Baby Monster, watch their next steps, watch their next development, because I think they are being really, really serious about maintaining that image of a strong vocal group. And I cannot be, I just can't be more excited. Stand them. But whether you are a Baby Monster fan or you're just a fan of good vocals in K-pop, please make sure to check out kiss of life as well kiss of life is the second group i wanted to talk about they just had their recent comeback and from what i've understood let me know if i'm right or wrong i just follow a couple of twitter accounts and try to understand the terms but they just graduated new good home. i hope that's a good thing i think it's a good thing but they just for the first time entered the melon 100 chart they're doing well. The girlies are doing well. I'm proud. I completely missed a memo on this comeback. And when it was out, it was already quite some time past. I'm sorry about that. Next time I will be 
definitely here and ready. But if you do love some good vocals, you've got to check Bell. Belle has the true versatility. She has a strong build. She has good access into her mix. But what I really like about her is that outside of being a really strong vocalist when it comes to support and when it comes to confidence in her singing, she's got the tricks. She's got the little tricks and a little tiny embellishments that just put that extra spice on her singing. She is deriving a lot of it, especially from R&B and uh, typical pop singing, but she's doing it so well. She has a lot of agility in her voice. You can check her solo songs. There's where she's really unpacking it completely. And one of the really cool things that she can do is whistle tone. That's something that you have to give her. Just like that. From what I've seen, she's hit F6 with her whistle tone. Listen, whistle tones are like the party trick of singing. They're very cool when you want to impress a wider audience. You pull out whistle tone and everybody's going to be seated. That's 100%. It is not something that you can overuse. You can do it way too often. It's going to get too obnoxious but it is something that you can pull from time to time and like really just floor everybody and that's what bell did in their song Shh. so definitely make sure to check that out so definitely keep an eye on bell and on the whole kiss of life because i feel like they're gonna go places especially their comebacks are very very strong they are promoting like crazy props for them and they are also just as baby monster really maintaining that focus on vocals like they are consistent with that they're making sure that that is the forefront of their singing whatever concept they adapt singing is gonna be there and singing is gonna take the first place and i appreciate that last but not least very quickly let me mention natty and hyano when you feel it come and get it come down. Yeah, get this party started. Let's get it started. Let's get it started. Take your time, take your time, time, take your time, time, take your time, time, time. I'm a wa, I'm a wa, wa, I'm a wa, wa, I'm a wa, wa, wa. Come, hello, hello. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing her name correctly. Probably not. I apologize. So, hello, Natty. If you are a big fan of uh, the cover that Ion and Parita did, um, Gone, uh, from Rosé, you will absolutely love the cover from Natty and Hanel. They did it completely live. It's very raw. And there is very obvious how consistently Kiss of Life are working on their vocals and are not scared to go completely raw without any filter really like with a skin out on the market and just sing and that even if you can sometimes hear a little bit of an imperfection that is what we need to embrace especially in k-pop currently because that's how we're gonna get a little bit more of naturality back so if i can recommend you one of those definitely got watch them natty beautiful warm fuzzy tone quality gorgeous like that girl is so easy to fall in love it's ridiculous and when it comes to Hanel, one thing that i have to make sure to mention is her consistency if you watch one two three four five seven 
videos, the live performances from Kiss of Live, you will see that Hanel it she is really keeping very consistent with her vocals. She's a magne, so she's still gonna be very embraced by her, you know, older unis, and they're gonna make sure that she's gonna develop in her singing, but definitely something worth to be watching her journey. So I'm excited to do so as well. I hope you're excited with me. So please support these two groups. They are pushing the vocal quality forward and we need to really, really appreciate it, embrace that. Watch these gorgeous ladies grow with me. I will definitely be there for their comebacks and for their performances. Yes, so flowers to Baby Monster and the Kiss of Life for just really keeping vocals their main focus and blessing us with this with the singing so thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget that don't forget to subscribe right here and here is the video that youtube actually recommends for you and here is the rest of my k-pop videos i guess i love you guys i'll see you next time bye 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 goodbye go go